Good morning, viewers all over the world. Um, it's a beautiful Saturday this morning. Well, last week, um, Saturday, Friday, yeah, on the 7th of February, it was a wonderful event. Uh, this morning, you know that here on the show, the show is Perspectives. You know that here on the show, what is our main business? Our main business here is to tell you whatever happened, if it's happening or it's being talked about. All we do here on the show is to bring you the real gist of it. I am your host as usual, Yinka Kenny is my name. And what's the gist this time around? All the way from Oshun State. Last week, Saturday, I was also there, live and direct. It was indeed a beautiful event in Oshun State last week on the 7th of february 2020 the town of apomu was a god you know as the town witnessed the presence of several royalties oh my god dignitaries you know a lot of people the woo and the woos in the society they were all there what were they doing in the land of akomo last week friday yes it was all about the coronation of the alakomo of akomo land obakayode adenekon afolabi atoyebi the second hey last week saturday he was crowned the last week friday he was crowned the king i don't know if my director can just help me roll the picture of the king what happened you know let's just have a view of what happened at the event last week friday yes it was the 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 it was crowned definitely it was crowned by the only of ife the only of ife was there the staff of office was also given to him on that particular day he was um, also handed the certificates of office on that particular day it was a beautiful event on that day the uh, a lot of dignitaries were there yes that's the only of if that's the oba uh, alapomo of apomulan oba kayo the adenia konfolabi atoye be the second being under the certificate of office he's been given the staff of office there and um he was crowned by the oni of ife at the occasion a lot of people were there we had the oni of ife himself at the event we had um we had the alafi of oyo also he was there we had the uh uh Aragbi G of of iragbi G land he was also there that's the alafi of oyo and the KBSC, the newly enthroned KBSC himself, that's the Alafi of Oyo with him. The Oluwo of Iwo was also there. All a lot of you know great kings in the land of in the land of Oshu State was there. That's the Arabiji of uh, Arabiji land. Also the delectable woman, the Her Excellency herself, the first lady of the state of Oshu was there. The first lady of the state of Oshun was there, Her Excellency Kafayat Oyetola. She was there, the woman, uh, uh, the pretty woman inside and out, the woman that you need to know her. If you know her, you know that that woman is not only pretty outside, she's pretty inside also. She was there with uh which she was also accompanied to the event by the uh uh honor by the honorable she was the commissioner for youth and sports honorable yemila wow she was also there with honorable ayo omi Jiron. she is the for, she's a former house of rep member we also had honorable rasak adioshun at the event he is a special assistant on local government and chieftaincy matters to the state governor they were all at the event the, the, the event was uh, beautiful cl glorious colorful also the media women were also represented there i was there my colleagues uh my senior colleagues in the industry we were also there to grace the occasion because i need to mention at this point that the olori herself janet mba afolabi she is a cnn award winning journalist 
ourselves. So definitely the media women must be represented. That's the King and the Olori, myself and my colleagues at the event. It was a beautiful event. I tell you, Oshun State stood up for the newly enthroned King. Alakomo of Alak of Akbomo land, Obakayodi, Adenekon, Afolabi. From myself and my crew, we say a very big congratulations to the newly enthroned king. That was what went down in the land of Akbomo last week, Friday. Don't go anywhere. Stay tuned. We'll be right back. <laughs> Welcome back. The show is still Perspectives. Yes, uh, you know that um, Abib, I wonder where he was the other time. Anyway, he's back in the studio. <laughs> we have to give way for reality. <laughs> <laughs> yes, we have to give way for reality. Abib Abdul is in the studio this morning. Yeah, and you can, morning yes, and you can see the, what, what do you call it? Anko. Yeah. Which our coach will also yeah, find his way. Yes, she yes, find his way into the dictionary. Into the dictionary. <laughs> <laughs> we don't have to look for another word for it. Let's, let's, keep, let's keep pushing it. <laughs> yes. Why do we have the anchor? I tell you, if you come to MITV Studios this morning, everybody is putting on this uniform. Uh, why are we putting on this uniform? Yes, because it's happening this morning. We want to say a big congratulations to the GM of um, Star FM. Uh, here in our building is giving out uh, mr kule badeyoka is giving out his daughter in ma in marriage yes, exactly. this morning and um, i tell you where uh, my tv is going to be there live and direct it's a beautiful thing it is know? a beautiful thing it <laughs> is a beautiful thing and it's worth celebrating actually yes. marriages you know it's yeah that's that's a moment to celebrate and we will all be there yes congratulations from every one of us here mr Bade yoka and we hope we pray that um, the way the marriage is going to be a blissful one by the special grace of the almighty god amen wow let's go straight to the business of the day abib can we pick calls this morning i don't know if we can pick calls this morning yeah, maybe, let's see, let's maybe just one or two, one or two calls I know I'll, I'll the be matter be before us this morning let me quickly just um review it is, okay. You know, as much as I really don't like to go into these political matters, but we can we can't just av uh, avoid it because we can't we can't really. It's all politics, politics, politics back and forth with PDP and um, APC <laughs> last week. The PDP accepted the judgment of the Supreme Court, which which nullified the election of the APC <laughs> David <laughs> David Lyon <laughs> and his running mate. This is running mate. I wouldn't know which name to use now because. According to, he has about five names. <laughs> <laughs> different name in primary school, different name in secondary school, different name, and different name all over. So I don't know which one to use, but the one I'm going to use is Bio Barakuma Degi Eremenyo. I, w I don't know what happened that he had to have all those names and you know APC unlike them they didn't mm. do the due diligence, due, due diligence before they <laughs> made him the running mate of you know these things. Well, I keep telling yeah. people that you want to know how your mother gave back to you just go and be a politician <laughs> that's politics they will dig just go and be a politician and they will dig you and dig you and tell you how your father and your mother they met themselves but, but, but it is a good thing that the law was followed to the letter okay now the pdp they accepted that mm. they accepted that okay fine this is what happened and unfortunately you know the the governor elects just about 24 hours before his um 
<laughs> before the before the be the governor, be the governor, be the governor of uh, yeah. Bayesa State, he was just um, you know thrown out of the race <laughs> while he was even rehearsing. Now he will wave his hand. Though. And no He's just speech and all that. Now my where my have a, if PDP accepted that one. Now, the PDP National Secretary, Mr. Ologbodion, in his statement insisted that the Supreme Court must right the wrong in Imo State election judgment, which sacked PDP candidates. Okay. Now, tell me, if you are to, this same Supreme Court mm -hmm. made the judgment in Bayesa, and you mm -hmm. feel, okay, it has done the right thing. Mm -hmm. This same Supreme Court made the judgment eight months before, at mm -hmm. least your own candidate had been the governor for eight months. Okay, okay. <laughs> Eight months before, and you, you now say you now feel that no, 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 that particular judgment was wrong. So well, well, it's not about feeling. The law is supposed to be blind. It's not about what you feel. So it's the position of the law. So why is it that we cannot just accept the position of the law and move on? Yeah, we'll be human beings. We we'll be, we'll be human beings. So what does the law say? What options do you have? You know, under the, 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 law? the judgment of the Supreme Court in Imo State was, you know, uh, for was against the PDP. Yes, yes, I but the that. one in Bayesa State was for the exactly. PDP. So they accepted the one in yeah, Bayesa State. No, they rejected the one in Imo State. Okay, yeah. However, APC accepted the one in Imo State oh, yeah. and rejected the one in PDP. <laughs> that, that's human beings for On you. the show, you know, we keep our <laughs> fingers crossed. We give you the gist, the way it unfolds. You know, we don't talk too much serious, serious matter here. Exactly. When we want to bring the serious matter to you, we have to laugh about it because we will, yeah, so. we will not kill ourselves with stress on, on this show. <laughs> the show is perspective. The number Number to call this morning is 0810-851-6644, 0810-851-6644. I think I can try. Let my director please scroll the number on the screen. Let's, Let's try and pick one or two calls, 0810-851-6644, 0810-851-6644. Let's hear your own perspective this morning because that's all we do here on the show and everybody it's has a perspective exactly and um, <laughs> we still have a level of freedom of speech oh yeah we do <laughs> <laughs> oh yes we do not okay. without its consequences anyway <laughs> what do you yes, have for us? yes going to the um, the, the was was uh, gradually becoming a pandemic now mm. coronavirus mm. yes mm. Uh, just uh, two days ago the minister of health announced a 36 million <laughs> reward for scientists that that would that could find a, um, a cure to the coronavirus mm. well uh, should we be excited about that? Mm. I think uh, I would rather be more excited about the fact that uh, 620 million, okay, he's actually asking for 620 million when he uh, appeared before the Senate on the coronavirus for to prepare and handle the coronavirus. Because whether we like Abib, it or not. If, uh, you, you know, you know, you see, <laughs> at home. you know, Abib, Abib, he knows how to speak too much grammar and he likes to speak that grammar. Give all this grammar. I pay school, grammar. I pay school fees. You pay school fees. Okay, <laughs> me, I did not go to school. Anyway. You know, my my own issue is that our own problem, our own indigenous sickness here, Lassa fever. Hmm. We don't have a cure. No, it's a combination of both like Corona and Lassa. Anyone that can find a cure for Corona and Lassa. He <laughs> no, did not say that. He said Corona. He said coronavirus. <laughs> my own my own issue is that we are not talking about our own local local problem last africa is killing a lot of people we are not encouraging you know our scientists mm. to look for a cure look coronavirus is china wahala and they are really we get, the you news really is saying that so? yes the well it's a world you know problem but we 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 we're still we still have a kind of consolation that it hasn't gotten to this place and china is on top of its game trying to you know curb it and we in the news the spread as we don't have as much the spread has been you know really minimized has been curtailed and you know see china building hospitals in 10 days and doing you know, they are mm. really on top of their game we've had lassa fever running for how long now we don't have issues i think that we should um, gradually is creeping into the south south and western part of the country and that's you know the fear because you shouldn't see the way lagos is lagos is congested on its own and so this is a major thing i feel mm. that the government should also you know encourage 
our scientists to do more about this. I know that they can do it. I know that we have brains in Nigeria that can, you know, help us look for a solution to okay. this. And if we need in, in international intervention, you know, the WHO coming in and all that, I think we should do it. We have, I know our callers have been calling. <laughs> let's, <laughs> let's hear from them before we go to the tweets this morning. Good morning. Sorry, please. If you have to call us, we really have limited time to pick your calls this yes. morning. Just do us the favor of reducing the volume of your TV set so that we can hear you through the phone and you can hear us through the phone also. You want to pick your call? Good morning. Yeah, good morning, sir. Okay, your name and where you're calling from? Yeah, my name is Abdul Latif Adewale Amode Maja. Okay. The only my father of my father land. Fantastic. Guy, reality as well. Please go, <laughs> go right ahead <laughs> with your perspective. I'm surprised for what's happening by you, sir. Okay. okay. If he does it. Ooh. Sorry, okay. your, your, your Royal Majesty. His Royal Majesty called us this morning. And yes, we lost that it's, a Roy, so, it's a program for the royalties this morning. Yes, so please <laughs> do well to call us and, and let's hear your own perspective. Let's just take this one more. Hello, good morning. Hello. Sorry, your, your Royal Majesty. Hello. Good morning. Your name and where you're calling from? Hello. Please Hello? put the volume of your TV set down. Hello. Yes, we can hear you. Go right ahead. Please turn on the volume of your TV set. Wow. What? Let's see. Life happens. Yes, yes, yes. Let's see how this morning uh, we've, we talk. Those, we just want to bring you just those two gists that is going on. And I need mention also that in South Africa, we found two Nigerians that killed, you know, were in a, they found them, they were fighting over the issues of money and, mm. you know, back and forth. Unfortunately, one had to pick up a stone to eat the, the other, other on the head. And back here in Nigeria, the news is that the people from his village have gone to destroy his, uh, uh, the race now is mob, the race now is owls and all that. Two wrongs cannot make a right. Definitely, two wrongs will make a right. And then, um, in these times and seasons, I just want to say that let's be let's be careful about our temperaments. Yes. Somebody said, I think that was on Twitter. I said, if it costs you your peace, then it's not worth it. Mm. Mm. Exactly, it's not worth it. Okay, we can still pick one or two calls. Tell us your own okay. opinion about this our coronavirus issue and the <laughs> Bayesa Imo issue. You want to pick a call? Yeah, we, we, I tried to. We just lost it. Okay, maybe we can still pick one call. Okay, let's go on to the social media. You know that we don't ever leave the show without telling you what's going on on social media. This morning on social media, uh, Atiku Abubakar, hmm, a former vice president, former vice president. Is on Twitter. He said that we mustn't rationalize killings whether Christian, Muslim, traditionalist, or atheist, the killing of any human being by Boko Haram or any misguided group is wrong and should be condemned unequivocally. Equivocally, there is no compulsion in religion. True that. There's the next one is from uh, Apoko Doctor. And it says, do something with your life that makes you more valuable as a person at some point, people stop loving you just because you exist, especially love me for who I am. Only babies are loved for just being babies. After a while, people love you for what you bring to the table. Which is the fact. Valentine was just yesterday. <laughs> <laughs> did you come to think of it? Did you get a Valentine gift? Yes, I did. <laughs> you got a Valentine Okay. Let me not say, let me not talk about my Valentine, my Valentine gift. Because I, I, I you don't want to loud it, right? I don't want to. <laughs> I, let me just say, I didn't get a Valentine gift. Oh, I didn't you get. Oh, no, you don't want I, to. I, I can get a postdated Valentine. You don't want gift. to loud it. No, no, no. I can get. I'm open. I, I'm open to. I know how it is. No, but my own Valentine <laughs> gift. Me, I want a lot too. Don't go and send buy me flowers. I'm an African lady. Okay. I don't want flowers. It's a lot. I want. <laughs> 
<laughs> the theatrical ladies do not appreciate flowers. Anyway, Deepo Awoji uh, this morning on Twitter is saying Remy Martins is like 65,000 Naira at Play Hilton in Abuja. A teacher who has taught children for 31 years earns 35,000 Naira monthly. 35,000 Naira to do what exactly? Quickly, what do you have there? Yes, Yinka Ogunubi says. 74 parties that could have merged to form a stronger party just got deregistered by INEC because everyone wants to be chairman mm -hmm. and governorship slash presidential candidate. They would rather die as big man in a dead party mm -hmm. than be a member of a party with a chance of winning something. Honestly, I just, we, I just <laughs> hope our politicians will just come to their senses and let's do something and let's move this country you know, forward. Charles Omole, he says, uh, you... You don't choose a leader because you like him or not. You choose a leader because of his competence. That is all. If he's competent and does the job in good speed, it doesn't matter that you don't like him. Sadly, many choose leaders as if they are looking for a spouse or uncle. Sandra is a quesily. She says, how exactly are you supposed to still be in love after struggling through Lagos traffic <laughs> on Valentine's Day? <laughs> Traffic that was caused by Valentine's Day. Oh my God! You have to go to this Valentine thing again. This Valentine. Oh yeah. Well, love I was, is, love I was, is still in the air. I was working all through yesterday, so I there was no love, nothing loving, loving in the air. Yes. You Thank, married your job. I married my. I fell in love with my job yesterday. That was just it. How uh, much you are this morning is saying that when when a relationship you were so mentally, physically, and emotionally in invested in goes down the drain you start to think you'd never love that again love like that again but our capacity to love is endless you can love better other sweeter and for much longer no matter how well you do now mm, that's yeah it. that's true that's it that's it. there'll be other valentines so, <laughs> oh my god <laughs> Sansa Stark. I, I need to hear the story of this your valentine <laughs> it was sweet Sansa Stark, the sweet girl she says Landlady wants to have this is a funny one. Landlady wants to evict my girlfriend because different men are always picking up and dropping her off. And mama cannot condone promiscuity in her compound as per neighbors are starting to talk. Different men are boat drivers. Can you imagine? <laughs> we, we not just mind our business. We, we won't just do that. We won't just mind our business. Eh? The, when you have uh, the, the registered cabs coming to drop her. Even if they yeah, are boyfriends or whatever, whatever. And she's the only one in the car. Whatever. <laughs> anyway, the last one on social media this morning is from Mark Ginger. If your wife is in a fit of anger, threatens to kill you, don't wait to find out if she means it. At the end, everyone will blame the devil. If you don't value your life, at least have pity on your mom who carried you for nine months and bore, and bore labor pains to birth you. To be for one is to be for um i think that's what uh, my ginger is telling us this morning and i keep telling i keep saying i've been saying it since we've been having this so rampant the the killings of uh, uh, spouses the husband killing the wife the wife it, killing the turning, husband is turning over now his wife's killing the husband now. well uh, whichever we're talking about human lives now so mm. i just keep saying if the relationship is not working please take a walk Please take a walk. It is better. At times you give yourself space and you come back and you are better people. Exactly. Well, that's all we can take this morning on the show. You can just connect with us on social media, on Twitter at C Perspective, and on Instagram and Facebook at Watch Perspective. Link up with me on social media, on Facebook at Sinka Kenny World, and on Instagram and Twitter at Sinka Kenny One. Abi Babdo. Yes, let's continue to link up. We'll have a jolly good ride again. Once, <laughs> once again, before we leave the show, we say congratulations to Mr. Badi Yoka on the wedding of your daughter this morning. Ah, oh, life yes. will be there. Oh, yes. Till we come your way, same time, same station next week. I am Yinka Kenny. Stay blessed.